Good morning guys, it's uh, 9.30 on a Sunday morning and we're looking at the worst day ever. Um, so I had uh, two 15 plus 10s yesterday and lost both, so I lost rating points. And then I had the, the bright idea that because I normally do a bit better on, on 10 minute games, I'll play a couple of 10 minute games and get the points back, right? Unfortunately, this is what happened. So I didn't win a game in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yeah. And what's that done to my to my rapid rating? Boom. Look at that. Look at that. So um, this has been kind of my baseline around 1500. I dropped down to 1477. I built up very nicely to 1622 and then dropped down almost 100 points in one day. So not good, precious, not good at all. Uh, so let's see what we can do. But the, the reason, the reason for all of that is because um, I was kind of emotionally upset. I've got stuff going on at home. Not bad, not wrong, but serious, heavy. Um, you know, big, big, big stuff going down, really. And I was feeling it. And I'm also feeling it because I um because i'm not stopping myself from feeling with the use of alcohol or cigarettes or what am i doing um sugar or carbs all of which to me they're all recreational drugs okay and so we have a smith more gambit by the way while, while we're talking so i i felt the feelings um this is not the best move Yeah, I can attack the pawn straight away. E6 is much better. Because the problem with um, black playing E5 is it gives this square away. So you do have ideas of coming in here. Maybe with the knight giving check. Bishop takes, queen takes, black can't castle. Can't move the d-pawn. And the question is, do we go straight in and do this now? And I've got a memory saying that we don't. Um, but let me try and figure out why. If I go straight in, can he actually defend that square? I don't think... Well, he can move his queen there or there to put two attackers on that square. Would he? Stop it. Um, or we can just carry on developing. I, w I will just bring my bishop out because I'm not, not confident. Yeah, that's also on the timid side, but it is stopping my knight, this knight, from coming in this way. Okay, he's also in no shape to castle, so I can get my king castled now if I want, or I can start this maneuver. Another idea is queen b3, which I which I like. And this is one of the reasons why I'm liking playing the Mora because it's similar to the Danish gambit, Göring gambit, or or my variation, the Scotch bonnet where I play queen b3, actually on like move three or something. That threatens this. And what can he do? Now, normally a good defense is that. Knight h6 to defend, but he can't do that because he's put his pawn on there. So, if I do this, I'm threatening to take there with check, make him move. What can he do about it? Okay, exhibit a, take, go there doesn't work. I've got one, two, three, four attackers. Okay. So queen there. Can't block with the d-pawn. Can't block with the e-pawn because he's already moved it too far. He can't defend with that. Okay, I'm doing this. I'm doing this. Now he does have this, this fork, but that is not fantastic because I can take with check. Then he moves here, but then I have to get my queen out of the fork. So I'd like Something like queen d5. Fortunately, again, because he's moved this pawn too far forward, too early, there ain't a lot he can do about it. So, yeah. Yeah, not, not a great day, but it's good to feel feelings, you know. Whatever they are, you know. So I, I really, really do believe that aside from just basic health and stuff like that, 
freeing yourself from any addiction and to me carbs are addictive substances right if you don't believe me and you eat a lot of carbs you eat a lot of bread cereal pasta whatever if you put sugar you have sugary drinks whatever try going without a food for 48 hours right just no carbs for 48 hours and see how you feel and you'll realize that you're a junkie simple as that so what's he going to do about this? Knight can't go there and it can't go to E9 because it doesn't exist. That would also have helped if there was an E9, but there ain't an E9. Here I'll probably take with the bishop, same problem. And I've had to remind myself, you know, this is one of those things where I'll look at it like a smith Mora game in the analysis and then I'll... I'll it will say to me, you should have played queen b3. And I'm like, oh, God, I forgot about queen b3. You've got to remember these things. Woody, stop it. It's Whatever it is, it's clean by now. Pack it in. It's okay, lie down. Don't shake. Bless him, he's very old now. He's getting old. We don't know how old he is. He was meant to be 11 when, when he arrived with us, and that was about six or seven years ago. So he can't have been 11. Well, ice cream 3268 is something to think. If you're a 68 baby, you're older than I am. Good boy. Good boy, Woody. Yeah, and his, bless him, his, his, his back end has gone just recently. His hips have gone. Yeah, you're okay, buddy. So what are you going to do? Huh? Well, that doesn't work. Wait, no, we, we've talked about this. Leave it, whatever it is. Okay, now, if I just take here, what's changed? I don't know. You try that, I do this with check. You move your king, I can move with, no, I can't move with check. I do this, let's say he forks. Do I take? I do this, he forks, I come here with check again, and the knight has to return, surely. Um, is that your idea? Now it's two pawns each right now, so material is equal, but the Smith Mora is all about pressure. Now actually if knight goes here, I think queen a4 might be better, right? Because I'm forking the king in check and the knight, okay? So knight here, queen here, forking both. If the knight goes back to here, my queen's on there, it's takes, takes, takes with a fork on king and rook, you see? So I think that might be the better move if he goes for this idea, which is an idea, again, that I'm familiar with in the Danish slash Göring. I've tried it actually a couple of times yesterday, playing the Göring with the, the proper knight takes c3 after they take the second pawn. So if you're not sure what the Göring is, if you know what the Danish is, e4, e5, d4 takes, c3 takes, it's like the Danish gambit accepted. And then the grown-up approach is to capture with a knight. But if you're bold, you put your bishop out and let him take another pawn, and then you capture with this bishop, and you've got super mega bishops looking down here. The Goering gambit is the same thing, but you start with e4, e5, knight f3, knight c6, and then you play d4, which is the scotch game. Now your opponent then thinks, oh, I know the scotch game, I understand what to do. Right? And they take the pawn. But then you play c3. And they're like, this is not like no scotch game I've ever heard of. And and you manage to get them into a Danish, but with the wrinkle of there being two knights out, which makes it quicker for white to castle, but not black, importantly. Because very often you do castle, and very often you want to get a rook onto e1. Because sometimes you can pin the queen on the king, and so we're well, very often on this square. Um, but 
Uh, my ice cream friend is feeling the pinch right now. And it all I think it all comes down to this move. Look, imagine if his pawn was on e6. No worries. So if you are a Sicilian player and you play the Smith Mora, you don't play pawn e5. I'm not sure of any variation. You can play e6 and d6 and a6. Fine. You can try and fianchetto your bishop, but if you're if you play the Mora and Black plays g6 to fianchetto, oops, then the one thing you have to remember is it all becomes about f7. All about f7, right? You you line up like this same kind of battery, queen, bishop, knight wants to come in, you know, all about that square. Hokey cokey. Now if takes and queen takes, then bang. A boom a boomerang. That's check. What you gonna do? He's taken with a pawn. Okay, so we saw this, but now he has two isolated pawns. And what we do now is we be cool. Everybody be cool. I think castles. Notice black is nowhere near castling. Black already has a worse position. I have two pieces developed and queenie. He has queenie, queenie only. Queenie only. Try and say that after a few strong beers. You know? I don't see any value in, in long castling here. I'm just going to castle short. I'm going to castle short. I'm going to get the rest of my stuff out into the board. Happy days. Smith Morris style. Rooks on c1 and d1. We might target this weak pawn. You know, then moves like knight d5 might, might be good. We're going to do it properly here. So I'm thinking bishop e3. Okay, he's looking at that. It's defended once. Thinking bishop e3. Eyes up this pawn. Eyes up this square. Rook a c1, rook f d1 in some order. Ah, oh, excuse me. Now I have to remember I'm not up material, so I can't just go about simplifying. But I now have completed development on move 11 and caused my opponent some headaches. Notice the queen is the only defender of this. The queen is the only defender of this. This one's defended twice. Everything else is kind of defended, obviously not the rook. So everything is defended. What's only defended once? Well, the knight and the pawn are only defended once. And this pawn is only defended once. So the queen is the only defender of this pawn and this pawn. Right? That can be useful information. So let's say like rook here, knight here. Pawn can't take because you lose the queen straight away. If knight takes, knight, pawn takes knight. We've opened up the center and we're pressuring the pin piece. So it's all good. But you have to play rook first. So he's used up nearly half his time now. You should also consider moves like this. And then there's no option of knight takes knight. Pawn can't take. We're attacking the queen. Queen has to move. Okay. He hits my queen. Okay, I can't go there, there, there. Can't go there, can't go there. So it's one, two, three. Or four. Maybe, maybe even a four. Maybe. I'd also like to, I like the fact that I'm still lined up on this and still lined up with G8. Just where the king might be headed. Having said that, the pawn behind my queen is not defended. So I'm going to do this. This is defended. I think the plan is still rook here. Okay, right, he's defended the pawn. Good. Okay, get it. The queen is also defended once, but I'm still going to play rook ac8. 
because I still have this. And I win a bishop. And I'm improving my situation in life. Okay, this knight, what are you doing? You're looking at this pawn that's very well defended right now with two pieces. Do you want to try and wriggle your way into the position? Does this rook want to come over to the d file? Um, do I still have this? Yeah, definitely. I want to open up the center. Right? Knight takes, I take back. Pawn can't take. Because if you do, you lose a bishop. So, yeah, what, what was I doing yesterday? I'll tell you what it was. I mean, there are... The accuracy was, you know, between 60 and 90, like it normally is but I was it was one of those days when I made a lot of moves when I went that looks like a good move make it and then go oh no 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 because I saw immediately saw a tactic now what you have to do is you have to see the tactic for your for your opponent before you make the move not after dear oh dear oh dear so it's just one of those one of those days if I pull up my profile, I think I've, I've run like analysis on all, all the games, right? So yeah, I mean, you know, 60, 60, 52 there, 71, this was a draw at 73, draw at 68, 60s. Yeah, just not fantastic. There's a 14 move win with, oh, 94% of my opponent. Yeah. So just, just not a good day in the office, really. So you've got to be in a good frame of mind, you know, to be able to do this. You've got to be calm. And if you are upset or agitated, it's probably not the best, um, best frame of mind. Queen is the only defender of this and the only defender of that. That's defended twice. They defend each other, the ladies. Well, it's, the bishop's not a lady. Excuse me. King defends, defends. Not defended. Right? So stuff that's only defended once, but in orange. That's also only defended... Well, technically it's twice. Because the queen also defends after the bishop. And that's only defended once. Down under six minutes now, this guy. And notice, notice, material is equal. Now he could just castle here. But if he castles, I've got knight takes knight. G, G takes knight, you know? Then it's like, ouch. No, if he castles, I might take his queen, actually, on second thoughts. That's the thing, you know, it's just that... Sometimes you, you have to slow down to speed up. Does that make sense? And then you slow down and you go, that looks like a good move. And then you go, oh. Oh. You ever do that? I do it all the time. All the time. I can even, I'll even pre-move that recapture. Because I think it's probably what he's going to do. I don't know. But then you see, after that, after that knight's gone as well, I've got serious pressure. I've got three attackers on this. Oh! See? Opponents really are remarkable creatures. You can learn all there is to know about them in a fortnight, and then after a hundred years, they'll still surprise you. What did we say about this pawn? Having said that, my knight is hanging, so what, what do we want to do? Do I want to take, take, take the pawn, hit the rook? Yeah? 
Anything wrong with this? And this is the thing, then the sanity check. The sanity check alone is worth 200 points. If you do it on every move. I've got 11 minutes, guys. Like, literally, if I drank coffee and smoked cigarettes, I could go and make a pot of coffee, roll a cigarette, smoke it, go for a poo, still come back, and still have five minutes on the clock. So if I take, queen will take. But then, you know, just taking the pot, yeah. You know, I've got then two, like, connected past pawns here. I see no problem with this. I might even do this. See, if he castles, which is what he really wants to do, then that will pin the bishop on the rook. Uh-huh. Okay, now everyone's first reaction is move the bishop out of the way, and it might be the right thing to do. Can't go there, can't stay there, unless I defend. But I can't actually defend with the queen. You know, because, no. So I think I need to need to move the bishop. An option two is, well, is, is there a counterattack? Can I attack something of equal or greater value? And I can't see a way. So I'm going to move it back, and I think I'm going to move it all the way back. Move back to here or here. I think this is the most unpleasant. Also because my opponent's got no... Oh, he can go that way. Yeah, he can't go that way. I thought for one minute he, you know, he couldn't retreat. But this doesn't really improve the bishop very much. And leaving my bishop there, okay, I think rook fd1. Now he kind of has to take. Okay. Right, I've got two attackers on there. <sighs> if I take and let him have my rook, are we happy? I could play rook d6. And that then threatens to take that and have triple trouble on the C file. Win a pawn, lose a rook. No, oh, I like this one. I like this one very much indeed. Because that pawn is at my mercy. It's defended only by the queen. And now I'm attacking it with all my major, major junk. Also, now that the rook has moved out of the pin, e5 hangs, and it's all going peak tong. All going peak tong in the mora. When the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie, that's a mora. I mean, surely McLean, right? Another free pawn, hit the bish. Still threatened to take that with that, and party. Happy days. Maybe f3, make a pawn chain. I'm up two pawns now. Okay, this is interesting. <laughs> it attacks my queen, skewers my queen on the knight. Um, that's a good move, which I did not spot. Hangs, takes queen, takes rook, takes rook. Fail. I go here, takes knight. I take pawn. Um... I take pawn, you take queen, I take queen with check. That looks nice. I take pawn. You can't take queen. Yes, he's threatening mate and one, right? But I take pawn, you take queen, I take queen with check. King has to move. And then I take his rook. Right? Q4. 
queen takes there, I just have the rook. And now I'm attacking the queen, I'm attacking the rook. You see what we're saying about, you know, responding to attacks. Don't immediately think the first thing that comes into your head. No, actually, do immediately think the first thing that comes in, because it's impossible not to do that. So think that, yeah, but then take that and go, okay, that's that, and I'm going to park it, right? And then, what else can we think? What else can we find? What else is there on the board? The counter attack. Now this is this one isn't upping the danger levels because the danger levels are, are immediately are similar. So if he, you take my queen, I take yours, but the difference is, bam, bam, bam. My attack, my capture comes with check, and the king has to go to h8 or h7, and then you lose your rook. Oh no! If takes takes, king moves, lose your rook. And the game. <sighs> and this, boys and girls, is the kind of chess I really enjoy. It is. He's on 3 minutes 30 now. I'm just under 9 minutes. Oh, come on, I need. I need a win. Okay. Right, so one attacker. Currently three defenders. My queen is still on prees, so I need to do something. This rook is not, not attacked. Um, I think I'm probably just going to drop the queen back to one of these squares. Maybe this one. And we could have that. I was just thinking line up the queen with the f pawn. Uh, not that he's probably in, in the market for moving his f pawn in a hurry uh maybe I'll just stick it on a dark square like this what if this rook comes across he's got yeah i think dark square so i've got to put oh no it's the only defender so he can actually have that pawn if he wants um but I am plus three right now. If I might then just push f3. I mean, this pawn's going to be hanging as well. a2, yes. You just push that. I think so. Knight there is no bad thing. Might put my queen back here, but then I'm kind of expecting the bishop to go to e6 now. It has to, really. I mean, these squares are just worse, and this square's worse. So it has to be here. Also looking down at the pawn. Now, I might just nudge the pawn up to a3. Could even stick my knight there, then disconnecting the queen and the, and the rook from seeing each other, you see? Two minutes thirty-four, buddy. It's got to be this. And now I'm going to do that. I mean, okay. Let's just consider what happens if we take and pawn takes. I come here, defending this pawn, attacking this one. Creating potential headaches. Ooh. Oh, it's a check. Okay. I've got F1, I've got H1. Don't really see a different I mean F1 he could check again, that's the only, that's the only thing. So oh, also there's a serious threat now. Knight E7 check winning the Queen with a disc covered thing. All right. Ah, oh, the threat is this. OK. 
Okay. There doesn't work. Okay, all oh, right, that'd be mate. So I think it's only got to be rook g1, right? Did not see that coming. That was that was very well done. Might even drop my other rook back and say, get out, get out of my face. Ouch. Right, if I move the pawn, queen there is mate. Damn it. If I come here. Bishop takes takes his mate. If I come here, rook takes, I lose my queen, he loses a bishop. I can't take the bishop. Bollocks, come on. That is checkmate on the next move. How on earth have you found this? <sighs> there? I just lose the rook. Mate. So if here I've got to take back. There, rook takes. Nothing's changed there. Or I just take his rook. Take his rook, queen takes, I take bishop. It's the only option that I can see. Whew. No, it's not. Yeah. Okay, I take the bishop. Right, I still have two rooks. And he has two minutes. But that was, you know, he was on the ropes, dude. And I'm actually still technically up in material. Okay, this is a fork on rook and pawn. Um, I can look after both, and I think I should. I think here, what I need to do is just not lose. Oh, it's a fork on that one as well. I oh, missed that. Well, let's do this then. All right, she's going to take here. She's got to be careful of that. I mean, right now, this rook is pinned and not going nowhere. I move the pawn, the knight hangs, but I have this. King moves, move pawn. This move can technically move. This rook can technically move. This one can't, but the rook on g1 can move. Not to there. Not to there. Okay, do I not want to move the pawn? Go on, I play my rook here to defend the pawn. Maybe defend the knight. Then we're going to move the pawn forwards. Let's move the pawn forwards. My knight is currently struggling for squares because the queen covers these and the pawns cover these. So actually, that wins the knight. That's a desperado now. Rook can't take because I take, and if queen comes here or here, I have rook back there, and we might have a perpetual. So he can force a draw, but I think he wants more than that. Being now up in material, but only with a minute and a half. Might want to move my king just to unpin the, the rook. I think that would make sense. There's no checks from the queen there. Maybe 
Is that maybe that? That drops a pawn. If I do this and then this, maybe. If I go here. Let's go there first. She can't take the pawn now. He can take that one. And I might have this. Check. Come back. Don't know. I just need to slow him down. Maybe even move that. Oh, check again. That's fine. Okay, we've got that. And then that wins. So you've got to be jolly careful now. Hey, Sasha. Can't talk now, sweetheart. I'm... Uh, Ooh, 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 ooh. Alert. I know I love you so much, but I'm trying to win this. Hang on. I didn't make the move. Let's make the move. I, ca oh, I can't! I can't! The rook was pinned by the queen! Hell's teeth. He's got a minute and a half to checkmate me. And he's not going to do it with his pawns. Lorks. One minute ten. Okay, that forces a rook off. That's a good move. Oh, it's a bloody increment on this. I'm screwed. I'm screwed. <laughs> I've got hope in hell. I forgot about the increment. Oh, crikey. Well, no, that's it now. That's it. Resignable. Resignable. 100%. You can't win from that position. No, minus two and a half. Okay. Oh, man. I've really had him under... The... How many games go like this, though, for me? Plus two, though, is the best I had. Taking the pawn... Okay, like that one. Yeah, fair enough. Knight's well defended. And it defends his pawn, actually. Oh, marginal difference. But this was my mistake. This was my big mistake. And it felt like so natural. Just, oh, make a pawn chain kick the bishop, right? That's a miss. I should have blocked. What with the knight or the queen? I could have put the queen there or the rook or anything. Oh my god. You see, I, I went immediately to I've got to move my king, right? No. Queen. And I'm still better. And from there, all downhill. Wow, all pivoted on that move. I opened up my king. I moved a pawn in front of my king. Right? Did I have to? No. But even here, I'm, I'm okay. And I went and hid. And then allowed this. Wow. But well done to the ice cream man. Well done to you. Oh, I thought I'd claw a bit back there, but no. I've got to tighten up. Still further. But... 
I've seen where I went wrong. I'm going to try harder next time. Thank you for watching. See you soon.